Shemot, Exodus 9. Then Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Go in unto Pharaoh, and tell him, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of the Ivrim, Let my at people go, that they may serve me. For if you refuse to let them go, and will hold them still, behold, the hand of Yahuwah is upon your cattle, which is in the field, upon the horses, upon the asses, upon the camels, upon the oxen, and upon the sheep. There shall be a very grievous pestilence. And Yahuwah shall sever between the cattle of Yasharel and the cattle of Mitzrayim. And there shall nothing die of all that is the children of Yasharel. And Yahuwah appointed a set time, saying, Tomorrow Yahuwah shall do this thing in the land. And Yahuwah did at that thing in the morrow, and all the cattle of Mitzrayim died. But of the cattle of the children of Yasharel died not one. And Pharaoh sent, and behold, there was not one of the cattle of Yasharel dead. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let at the people go. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe and unto Al Haran, Take to you handfuls of ashes of the furnace, and let Moshe sprinkle it toward the heavens in the sight of Pharaoh. And it shall become small dust in all the land of Mitzrayim, and shall be a boil breaking forth with blains upon man and upon beast throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. And they took ashes of the furnace and stood before Pharaoh, and Moshe sprinkled it up toward the heavens, and it became a boil breaking forth with blains upon man and upon beast. And the magicians could not stand before Moshe, because of the boils. For the boil was upon the magicians and upon all the Mitzrim. And Yahuwah hardened at the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them, as Yahuwah had spoken unto El Moshe. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Rise up early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus says Yahuwah, Elohai of the Ivrim, Let my at people go, that they may serve me. For I will at this time send at all my plagues upon your heart, and upon your servants, and upon your people that you may know that there is none like me in all the earth. For now I will stretch out at my hand that I may smite you and at your people with pestilence, and you shall be cut off from the earth. And in very deed for this cause have I raised you up, for to show in you my at power and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. As yet exalt you yourself against my people, that you will not let them go. Behold, tomorrow about this time I will cause it to rain a very grievous hail, such as has not been in Mitzrayim, since the foundation thereof, even until now. Send therefore now and gather at your cattle and at all that you have in the field. For upon every man and beast which shall be found in the field, 
and shall not be brought home, the hail shall come down upon them, and they shall die. He that feared the et word of Yahuwah among et the servants of Pharaoh made his servants and et his cattle flee into the houses. And he that regarded not the word of Yahuwah left at his servants and at his cattle in the field. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Stretch forth at your hand toward the heavens that there may be hail in all the land of Mitzrayim upon man and upon beast and upon every herb of the field throughout the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe stretched forth at his rod toward the heavens, and Yahuwah sent thunder and hail, and the fire ran along upon the ground, and Yahuwah rained hail upon the land of Mitzrayim. So there was hail, and fire mingled with the hail, very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Mitzrayim, since it became a nation. And the hail smote throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. <coughs> Excuse me. At all that was in the field, both man and beast, and the hail smote at every herb of the field and broke at every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Yasharel were, was there no hail. And Pharaoh sent and called to Moshe and Aharon, and said unto them, I have sinned this time. Yahuwah is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. Entreat El Yahuwah. For it is enough that there be no more mighty thunderings and hail, and I will let you go, and ye shall stay no longer. And Moshe said unto him, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad at my hands unto El Yahuwah, and the thunder shall cease, neither shall there, there be any more hail, that you may know how that the earth is Yahuwah's. But as for you and your servants, I know that ye will not yet fear Yahuwah Elohim. And the flax and the barley was smitten, for the barley was in the ear, and the flax was bold. But the wheat and the rye were not smitten, for they were not grown up. And Moshe went out of at the city from Pharaoh and spread abroad his hands unto El Yahuwah. And the thunders and hail ceased, and the rain was not poured upon the earth. And when Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and thunders were ceased, he sinned yet more and hardened his heart, he and his servants. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened. Neither would he let at the children of Yasharel go, as Yahuwah had spoken by Moshe.